got a short video for you guys um, from the uh, U.S. Open. As you can see, the U.S. Open brings together everyone in the tennis community around the world, and we want to do something similar for our local community. It means a lot to us, and we want to give back to it. So we thought that we should do a tournament on a fun tennis day, and it'd be a great idea to bring everyone together around tennis. And here's why we individually choose to play tennis. Uh, the reason that I had chosen to play tennis was because I had been running cross country for a few years, kind of decided that it was not for me. You know, running. And then I saw that my friends, these guys, were playing tennis and it looked like they were having fun, so I joined and I really enjoyed it. The reason I chose to play tennis was Lana and I have been playing tennis since we were probably fourth or fifth grade, and the summer before freshman year started, he suggested that we try out for the tennis team, and it was a really great decision on his part because the last four years of tennis have been really fun for me. I got into playing tennis because my sister played on my high school team. And uh, she kind of got me into tennis and her and my dad showed me the ropes on how to play tennis. And then when I got to high school, I decided now that I know how to play tennis, I might as well try out for the team. So I did and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I've been playing tennis since I was a little kid. Um, our older brother was on the varsity team. He showed me how to play. Um, my dad's been playing with me all the time. I went to Midland a lot um, and played with the people in the tennis center. And this year I was on um, the varsity team. While we were researching our topic and figuring out how to run a tournament, I stumbled upon this article online. And until, sorry, the author told me about like the mental health benefits of tennis and how it can really improve you mentally and physically. And what it said was, tennis players usually, compared to people who don't play tennis, have better reception skills, they can think of things faster, they have better planning skills, overall better brain activity too. Because when you're out on the court, your feet are always moving. You're making movements that, you know, it's muscle memory. You don't even think to do those things. You're predicting where the opponent's going to hit the ball, where you're going to hit the ball. And so it just said that tennis can benefit you mentally and physically. Uh, this is kind of how we prepared. Uh, this is one of our posters for the tennis tournament. Uh, Shelby designed this. Uh, we found that, we figured out that the simpler the better. And we actually took a day uh, of our time to go around the Mount Pleasant to um, distribute these out. We went to the, we did them all around the school. We did them at a whole bunch of different tennis places like the tennis courts by the SAC, Nori Courts, 
Um, and we also, well, we did them at the high school courts and we also did them around the neighborhoods. And we, um, I went to Midland uh, to the tennis center and um, I talked to one of the events directors there and we actually traded posters. I told her that we could give them, uh, some of the people at our tournament, some of their posters and they promised to distribute our posters to their people there and that turned out really well. Uh, these are our sources. Clay Stopper in the top left corner was our first source. He graduated two years ago, and we called him over one night to Lance House while we were researching how to run a tournament, and him being a good friend, he just told us, you know, some simple guidelines, rules, and some points to run a smooth tennis tournament, seeing as he did a tournament just like ours two years ago for his senior project. Uh, Talia Schild in the top right corner, she's a coach in Midland. Um, she's a tennis professional there. Uh, she uh, has done countless tournaments, organized many, many different USDA regulations. Uh, she's also the official event organizer, or event director there, and she's planning several um, events over the summer for Midland. Uh, she gives a lot of good information about the food we should bring and how we should organize the bracket for the tournament because that was um, a little bit confusing for us. We've per we personally uh, experienced a lot of tennis tournaments uh, between us, but she told us specifically how to organize tournaments really well. And Mr. Romer, he uh, he's the assistant coach. Many of you know him as the librarian but he's the assistant coach for the Mount Pleasant High School uh, tennis team. And he gave us a lot of information from his background um, about his two sons that are both um, very gifted, well-achieved tennis players, and his, uh, their USC tournaments that he's been to, the different frustrations of them not running smoothly, um, and different ways to prepare them. All right, so we found a great white girl roaming the halls one day and decided, you know, why not interview him? Because he's our head tennis coach, and he has organized many tennis tournaments his year. So we gave him an interview and uh, he told us to be careful of bad weather and the weather could really affect our tournament if, we, if the weather didn't cooperate with us. And uh, he also said uh, bring a first aid kit just in case someone gets hurt and they need medical attention. Alright, awards and supplies. So uh, we decided to make some awards for first and second place at the tournament. And uh, one day I went to the wood shop and uh, made this plaque here for second place and first place. And um, then we sent them over to uh, graphics and had them laser engraved. And it turned out really nice. So uh, I'm going to pass that around so you can see what we look at it. So for supplies, um, we, we got all the supplies the night before, like the tennis balls and um, the water and the food. We also made the bracket the night before, and we were uh, we were all prepared for the tennis tournament the next day. Yeah, so Layla, um, the Midland coach, actually told us that bananas were a great idea for the tournament. Everyone loves bananas; they're great for passing a couple cramps during tennis. Uh, we got a lot of those, like three packs of bananas the night before. It was really helpful. Uh, some difficulties with the tournament uh, on our on the day that we had planned for the original tournament, it got rained out. Um, we had 12 teams that planned to come. Uh, we uh, I had to wake up that morning, call the teams, and let them know that we had an original day, um, like a rain day plan, because Coach had told us about it, was May 17th, and the first day we wanted was May 3rd, but that got rained out. So I asked them if they were okay with either doing it May 4th or May 17th, and more people said that they could do it May 4th, which we knew was going to be setting, and we didn't want it, like a rain day on May 17th to not work either. Uh, so we ended up doing it the very next day, and it was um, when our results led. And the results of the tournament, we had a total of eight teams come out. Originally, like Landon said, there were 12 before, couldn't make it due to the rain delay. But actually, eight teams worked out in our favor because that makes for a perfect bracket on both sides. And the winners were Dan Lang and Doug Kennedy, a team from Claire, actually came down to play. And they beat Michael Romer and Alex Ojeda. Um, we got $125 from the tournament, charging $5 a person. And plus, some of the very generous people were glad to help us um, with extra donations. And they, uh, it was very, it was, uh, all that money's going to the tennis team, and it's very helpful. And now I made a little montage of uh, shots from the tournament that my mom and uh, Shelby and everyone took little pictures.
wrap up our presentation, I do believe. Yeah, if you guys have any questions. Any questions for this team?